video is going to talk about different types of picking techniques and addressing a video I had up called alternate picking versus economy picking. Now, this is the way I look at it. When it comes to playing scale runs, such as just going up and down, stuff like that, I, I do believe alternate picking is going to produce the fastest speeds you can do. So, even just going back and forth on stuff. And, you know, might sound like a blow to bull, but no, I'm not warmed up. I haven't been warmed up and I completely and I don't know how long because you know, I don't really make time to practice anymore for one reason, making videos like this and just, you know, teaching takes up a lot of time and I am going to school right now and I'm also starting a health coach business. So, you know, the, 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 the hours and hours of metronome stuff I used to do when I began just doesn't happen anymore. So maybe someday I'll work on the speed again. The last time I was working on speed like crazy was when I did the whole Guinness record thing. So, you know, in, in, in doing, breaking that Guinness record twice before they decided they were doing away with the category, you know, how I did it was mastering that constant back and forth. And the way, the way I look at alternate picking versus economy picking versus sweep picking versus hybrid picking, I look at these things differently, and I understand it can be confusing because economy picking is usually synonymous with sweep picking. So I think it depends on what you are going to play that will determine what you use technique-wise. So, obviously when I had to play uh, Flight of the Bumblebee, there was really no room for economy picking anyway. The whole thing was a 16th note nightmare. So, I mean, the, the, any time you're going from one phrase to the next, you're always going to down, up, down, up before you moved on to the next one. So anyway, uh, back to the scale. This is the example I used in, in the original video. So when I'm going up a C scale, I am doing back and forth picking. Even if I'm doing do back and forth kind of stuff like that. constant back and forth. I'm just locking into that back and forth motion. And the way I look at alternate picking is you have like a wheel, uh, the motion of a wheel. So you have like the bottom part and you spin up to the top part, back down to the bottom, up, down. So when I'm thinking of alternate picking, I'm thinking of it like a wheel turning and the faster and faster that wheel turns, you know, the harder and harder it is to really stop it and break out of that motion. So that's what I'm looking at in terms of alternate picking. It's like making a bunch of really small circles. And so let's look at the C scale example again. So if you were to uh, economy pick it or put little sweet picks in there, basically instead of going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, it would go down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. And if you went the other direction, like say if you started on an upstroke, up, down, up, 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 up, down, up. That would be an example of like economy picking going through that three note per string C scale. And when you're doing that, I mean, the way I'm looking at it is like it's kind of like you start the the circular motion and then you stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And I do understand that it's not supposed to be like a down, up, and then down, and then ugh, like dum, dum. you are just letting the pick fall. So it's like one motion. It's like like a bunch of series of a lot of different motions. And for me, thinking about alternate picking, it's not a series of a bunch of different motions. It's just down, up, and that's that. You know, yes, it, there is less distance going from here to here. You know, just from the 12 to the 8 there. And just because there might be a minuscule little bit of difference on the distance, 
speed wise you know you can't lock into that super 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 fast back and forth picking which will result in the most speed now a lot of you are probably wondering well is it about just making as many notes as possible yes that is what I'm talking about it, and it, it depends on what you're playing there are definite things where economy picking or sweep picking is far more effective such as you know like doing like a three three note shape like that uh, one little thing I like to do uh, see what the heck was it so, <clears throat> so sorry stuff like that You know, that's just that constant sweeping back and forth. So, no, I'm not going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Obviously, you cannot get that fast by going back and forth on each string. However, you notice I'm still just going back and forth. I'm just going down, up, down, up. So, to me, it's, it's pretty much like alternate picking. I'm just doing a bigger motion. And to me, it's still, you know, they got that circular motion. So what if, like, um, let's see if I can think of an example. Of course, I'm making it up as I go. But let's say, uh, kind of like going. I'm just going back and forth on two strings here. And then going up to three. Yeah, that's that's it's it is like it's kind of like doing a small back and forth and a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. So, you know, that, I think that's a good example of when obviously you can't make that kind of speed happen just by going back and forth on every individual note. So, yes, for those that made the argument, like, well, what about when you sweep pick this and that? It's like, well, yeah, obviously you can't do this by going back and forth like that. Which is why I did address that in the video, talking about sweep picking. Um, again, I just, it's still to me just a bunch of circular motion. So, you know, can, yes, you can make, you know, incredible speed happen by economy picking stuff like this. Yes, you can make it subconscious and do very well, you know. There's, you know, it's it's really about again what what the goal is, it, you know. This is my personal opinion. This is what has worked for me. This is what has worked for my students as well. You know, I've read people say that they were stuck on speed plateaus with strict alternate picking. Then they moved to economy picking, and then they got faster. My experience with students has been the exact opposite. They were stuck on economy picking. I got them to do strict alternate picking, and then their speed just went. Pew! One student recognized it on, on his own by watching uh, some Paul Gilbert videos. You know, Paul Gilbert's big on alternate picking, too. And uh, this student, he realized that, you know, once he stopped doing the economy stuff and started doing the strict alternate picking for stuff like scale runs, then his speed just went way up. So let's look at, it, at another type of picking thing, like... Um, chicken picking or hybrid picking which is something I'm really not too great at but I'll, I'll try and show an example of, of what I mean and I got stuff like this from a Zach Wilde DVD I don't remember which one it was but still doing stuff like this basically where you're like using your pick and your middle finger at the same time That's a really good example of, you know, when, you know, obviously you're not going to recreate a sound like that or that type of speed with just going back and forth on every single note. So sometimes hybrid picking can actually yield fast results for certain riffs. And the, the idea is, you know, with me talking about this, like to reach your absolute max speed on stuff, for super max speed on just scale runs, things like that. Yeah, I, I, I do believe that strict alternate picking is going to result in you being able to make as cram as many notes in in a small amount as possible and people you know question the whole like oh that's not musical this and that and that's not what music is about blah 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 well check out the annotation i have up now about speed picking or and shred guitar and like what 
you know, why I think, yes, you know, it can be musical, and, you know, music is subjective, so sometimes cramming as many notes in one second as possible, you know, as many as you can, you know, it, not only is it fun to do sometimes, but, you know, using it sparingly can make, make or break a song or a solo, but anyway, so, and then talking about, like, um, different sounds on alternate picking versus economy picking, I mean, that really comes down to how hard you're striking the string, you know, and I did, did check out the video I have up on that too, so somebody asked me specifically what I thought the sound difference was between alternate picking and economy picking, and it really is all about how hard you hit the string, you know, if you do it right, you know, it, there will be no sound difference. So, you know, check out that video for more information on that. Um, you know, I just, I hope this video clears up misunderstandings that may have been put out there. So, when it comes to just doing scale runs up and down, back and forth, yes, I do believe that you are going to get the fastest results by going uh, strict alternate picking. For you know, stuff like this... <laughs> Yeah, you need to go... I love doing that one. Such a cool sound. Um, yeah, you have to sweep that or economy pick that. So it, it really depends on what you're going for. It really depends on what you're trying to play and achieve. Um, do I think it is important to work on both alternate picking and... You know, sweet picking stuff. Yeah, I mean, I have students work on that stuff all the time. You know, one, I have videos up on sweet picking. Do stuff like that. Um, that's one thing I used to work on a lot too. Kind of like looks like a mountain range when you when you tab that out. Yeah, obviously, you know, back there you're doing that. I'm just doing sweep sh shapes. Or a lot of people say economy picking, so... Um, let's put it this way, you know, when people people are saying, like, or have said uh, that I was saying one is inferior, basically saying economy picking is inferior to strict alternate picking, it depends on what you're trying to do. In some cases, yes, it is absolutely inferior to what you're trying to do, in my opinion, and other times it is not. Sometimes strict alternate picking makes absolutely no sense. And just one riff in particular that I wrote that I just started doing economy picking without even realizing was this. No, oh, that's that's the riff. Whoop. So I'm going like a down, up, down, down, up, down. <sighs> Sorry. Down, up, down, down. Yeah, I'm doing two down strokes in a row there. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So that, I mean, I wasn't even thinking about it when I did that. And it's it is. that Something like that is way easier to do. A form of economy picking with, but you're not going to be making a riff like that stupid fast anyway, you know? I mean, I guess you could, but that's one example. I think it sounds way better slower, but um, yeah, anyway, so I hope this clears up uh, any questions or whatnot. I'm more than happy to answer questions you have about it. I will tell you right now that if you're just looking for an argument, I will not participate but if you actually have legitimate questions, uh, things you don't understand, I mean, I'm more than happy to do a video explaining myself on these things. So I do make these videos to help. And, you know, I, one thing I will say, you know, there, there's a lot of different instructors out there with their own style. There is no one 100% right answer and you know maybe for your body type economy picking does make more sense for you but for me strict alternate picking absolutely works so much better when it comes to just hauling ass on scale runs back and forth like that so i guess the last thing i'd like to 
add on this video is, you know, they're just like with diet and exercise, there won't be something that works for everybody. We all work in different ways. So I think it's good to look at learning your instrument the same way. Your body might be set up differently. You, you, might, you might work better with different fingers on certain things or different picking techniques on different things and different instructors will, you can connect with them in different ways. So if you see my videos and you can't stand what I say, what I have to say, the way I say it, you don't have to listen to me. There are a lot of other people out there. And if there are any other instructors out there, you know, watching and listening, you know, I would love to get in contact with more people who want to spread, you know, worthwhile education out there for these things. And, you know, kind of do like a team up kind of thing. Like if somebody, if like, you know, because people specialize in stuff that I don't. Just like I, I believe I specialize in things that other people don't. You know, I'm really good at certain things, and then there are other people that are way better at certain things than I am. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of instruction out there, a lot of different instructors. So, you know, try and find someone, if you can. I invite you to try and find instructors online that you feel a connection with. Someone who, you know, you kind of gel with real well. So, you know... I, don't, I, I try not to claim I have all the answers. I hope I have not sounded like I do. These are just my opinions. This is what has worked for me. And these are things that have worked for my students very well. So hopefully that clears things up. Again, send me any questions you may have. And thank you very much for watching.